Hello and welcome, this is Honeysuckle bringing you another episode of No Place Like Home. And today we'll be going back to Frozen Peaks to pick up those quests. While I'm remembering, I did want to go ahead and check out our house rooms that we got unlocked. So there's a chest here. And that gives us the classic furniture set and several pieces of wallpaper. So that's pretty cool. And now that wallpaper, why not go ahead and grab one? Let's just use the green one. It's pretty. I've got too much stuff on my hot bar. All right, so we're just going to place it up. There we go. It rolls on. And there. And all right. Now we got to turn around. Five there. And if you notice, it does not use it up. It stays in your inventory. You can use it as many times as you want. And it makes the room look so much better. So we could wallpaper all of these rooms. Now every room that you open does have a new furniture set that will open. This one is the kitchen furniture set. And several kitchen wallpapers. So we'll just get all these picked up. You do want to make sure you have enough room in your inventory for those. Because they... Uh, just kind of fly out everywhere right, and these two rooms are still locked so we still need to do those we need the apple pie for um, what's his name Frank so we're going to toss all these new wallpapers in here go ahead and get rid of that all right let's head outside Now, I did get all the trash cleaned up in those areas we've been to um, in Frozen Peaks. I do want to upgrade these, so I do have them ready. So those will upgrade. Our crops are ready. I did plant the wheat and the beetroot, the garlic, and the onion. Let me harvest those up real quick. Okay. And I had wheat and peppers on my hot bar because we have so many extras of those. If you look here, we have 50 of both the wheat and the peppers plus all these extra stacks. So I just put them in here so we can go ahead and plant them, get them out of our inventory and so they don't take up room in the chest. Let me get these all planted. Okay, I didn't get them all planted because my little area here only takes that many. So we do have like just one leftover of the wheat that's okay and we still have those to plant so we can plant those again in three days so we do have tons of extra stuff now after the updates it looks like my mail maker is a little bit glitched out it looks like there's a jam maker on top of it so I'm going to try picking these up okay now that's gone now let's place the mail maker that is not a mail maker it's showing in my inventory on number six as a mayo maker. But when I go to place it, it's that weird thing. But it takes eggs and it works, so we're, we're just going to go with it. The jam maker seems normal. So we will toss those in. I just got done preserving blueberries. They give a ton of jam. So we're going to let those do up. Let's go ahead and see if we can do any upgrades now that we have these new crops. Okay, so we have, we need milk for that. We need beetroot, yes, hardened upgrade. We do want that. Just makes us break through the trash piles quicker. We could do the water tank upgrade. Always good. What else can we do? The backpack, absolutely. And can we get these yet? No. We need olives and cheese. That will be a bit. Let's go check with Mark. Alrighty here. We could upgrade the chicken coop again. I don't think we need to. Um, let's go check with Harold. Harold. 
we need. We don't need any of those. We could go ahead and get the raccoon house. That would be good. All right, let's go build that. All right, so animals and raccoon house. Let's get that down here on our hot bar. Now you can probably see I did make more of those super chicken launchers because those are always fun to use. We have plenty of wheat. We will need those. Let's place this raccoon house down here by the other pets. We'll just put it there. And that way, whenever we find that raccoon, we'll be ready to go. So let's run on over to Frozen Peaks and start doing some quests. Alright, much cleaner around here, as you can tell. Got everything cleaned out that we could reach without opening new gates or anything. So let's talk to this lady. Oh, we're going to scare something. We're going to scare the hummingbirds. And their habits are different because the tree's been cut down. This is Jay, the ornithologist. Alright, we're looking for Grandpa from the station. Um, yeah, the one around Mars. She goes, oh, okay, so that was finally finished. So, have you seen Grandpa? No. But his brother? What brother? Of course he has a brother. His brother's named Nick. He's also a scientist like Grandpa. And they work together to make robots that could plant trees and seeds. But they... Let's say malfunctioned. So they split ways. So Nick is desperate to see results as soon as possible. She doesn't know what he's trying to prove. Um, but we're still surprised that Grandpa has a brother. He never said anything. Because, well, I don't know much about it for obvious reasons, but I've heard the relationship wasn't exactly perfect. Anyway, that's enough about the past. I haven't seen Max in a long time. Is there anything else I can help you out with today? Alright, so for our quest, we need to continue the search, and then she wants us to be a friend of the chickens. Yes. Or friend of the birds. Chickens count. But she wants us to plant some trees. So, plant some oaks so birds can make their homes. They grow from these giant great oak acorns. So, six of them to be planted. She's already prepared the seed beds. So, let's run around and find those. There's a seed bed, and here is one acorn. We'll get the acorns first. There's one run around in a clockwise fashion or counterclockwise there's another and a suitcase try not to open too many without you now if we sneak right in here we have another one and another one back here they do like to hide there's one over here we won't go down there yet, because they're all in this one area. We have another box. And a couple pieces of trash I missed. They always tend to hide. You think you have them all, and then you find more. Alright, another suitcase and another acorn. There's a lot of stumps around here. Another acorn, a suitcase. Getting lots of that dried firewood. That's good. So is that all the acorns? I believe it is. Now here's a water switch that I haven't opened yet. So we'll splash that real quick. And we will run up this hill because that opens the gate right here. So let's clean out this stuff. It shouldn't take long. It's just a small area down here. See something glowing back there. A suitcase for onion rings. Alright, and we have onions now, so we can make some onion rings if we wanted to. A little bit more trash, another duck looks like. And a nest. And that will be the feather of the goldfinch. Makes sense since it's bright yellow like that. So let's come out here and start planting some of these oaks. There's one. A 
There's two. There's another suitcase hiding in here. There's three. Four. Way back here on the corner is five. And then six is right down here. All right, return to Jay. All right, mighty oaks. Yes, we planted the trees. Birds will start coming back. Um, now she needs to know which ones came back, so we need to help catalog the birds. She wants feathers. So we might want to start on the hill where these ancient trees are still growing. Five should do the trick for now. But whenever you find more, you can always return them to me and exchange them for some rewards. Do we have a deal? Sure. Great. If everything goes well, then my birds will help us out rebuilding the planet. All right. So, as you can see, all the trees have been cut down, knocked over. They don't look great. But right there, you can see some trees growing. And that's where she means to start. Which we've already found one down there. But if we come back here, we have one right here. This will be Feather of the Thieving Magpie. And then all the way over here, there's a suitcase hiding. This will give us, looks like a mushroom hat. There's another bird's nest here. This is Feather of the Common Pheasant. But there's more. This is why she told us to come up here, because there's like three nests. All right, so we have this one, which is the Northern Cardinal. All right, let's open this chest. It's a little bit difficult because, as you can see, you're kind of floating above it. So you just have to kind of spam the E key as you walk up to it. You'll be able to get it. Then we'll drop down here, grab this chest. That's going to give us the bread recipe. We want that one because of all that extra wheat we have. Push that button to open this gate. We have a chest down here. It gave us a winter hat. There's a box hiding here. And then up this path is another chest. There we go. And there's a signpost. X, triangle, circle, square. That will give us the code to open this gate. So X, triangle, circle, square. Then we have a suitcase and a trapped pig. There we go. Then on up the path. Have to open all this up. We'll get those later. We're going to run right back down this path. So if we miss anything on the way up, we can pick it up on the way back. There we go. Out here on the ledge is another suitcase give us pumpkin soup. Sounds pretty good. I'm actually kind of hungry right now. I haven't eaten any breakfast. All right, now back here we have another suitcase here. Looks like the wisteria decoration. And back here is another one. What do we have here? The apple pie. We needed that apple pie recipe for Frank. So when we go home, we'll have quite a few recipes we might want to check out. Now, we've got another bird's nest right up there. So we're going to run up this path. All the way out here to the end. Grab this feather, which is the blue jay suitcase. And then back down. I saw that piece of trash hiding in there. All right, so let's see, do we have five feathers? We have one, two, three, four, five. We do have five feathers. Let's go run and talk to Jay. Congratulations, we've proven to be a great friend of the birds. So proud. All right, enough politeness. I have a real task for you. I've seen a tree planter nearby, a robot who could greatly aid our cause. But it seems it's gone rogue. He's stuck in some kind of a loop. And instead of helping the environment, it's destroying what's left of it. Try to find out what's wrong with him. Okay, anything else I should know? 
Oh yes, I almost forgot. You might come across a pack of boars along the way. Do not fear them. They are too preoccupied to attack a human. I think they might have forgotten how people treated them, so they're not aggressive anymore. This doesn't release us from our responsibility to help them, though. You see, their lair was poisoned by a toxic leak from the factory. This leak was contained, or rather frozen, but it still contaminates this entire area. So we owe it to these boars to help them, you see? Well, what can I do? You'd have to find some dry wood and start bonfires to melt the ice around the lair. This should neutralize the poison. Then you'd have to repair the lair with various resources. After you're done, you plant some trees so something protects these poor boars from the wind. And what's even more important, they provide their favorite food for them so they don't starve. Okay, so deal with the robots and help the boars. Got it. Alright, so we just need to light the fires and neutralize the tree planting robot. So let's see what we can do. We're probably about running out of time. And I've got one last thing I want to do. We'll go ahead and light these. Alright, we did that. And then we need to fix that. So let's go run talk to Jay again because she has a recipe we need. Okay, so shop. The cow shed. We definitely want to learn that cow shed recipe. And let's just bypass her and go straight to the shop. The upgraded one takes cheese and we need the cheese maker. There we go. All right, let's go home and build those. All right, so let's see. Animals, cow shed. We can definitely build one of those. And what else was it? The cheese house. Yes, we're going to build one of those. I believe that was everything. So let's go place these. The cheese house we're going to go ahead and place right here next to all of our other stations. So it's on nine. We're going to place it here. We need milk for that. Let's go ahead and get that going again. Throw some jam in there. Let's go place our cow shed. Alright, so I think we were wanting to place the cow shed right about here. I think that's probably good enough. Give us a little bit of room around. I want to grab some of these eggs as well. Alright, we slept through the night. Let's go ahead and make that apple pie recipe. I believe we need... Let's see. Two apples, two wheat, and one honey. So we need to grab two apples and one honey because we have the wheat. There's our one honey. Over here are our apple trees. We'll just grab two of them. We don't need a whole bunch of extra stuff hogging up our inventory. Alright, apple pie. Let's make it. Keep that mail maker going, even though it looks funny. Alright, so we have a couple of things to clean up in our inventory. Let me go ahead and clean up our inventory. We'll run to Frank and get that upgrade. Alright, Frank. Yeah, you can help me with my house. And a stylus expansion. Alright, we got that one. Then you have to talk to him again to prompt the next quest. He does not prompt the next one by himself. So we need five wood and a nice watermelon salad. Of course he does. So let me just see what you have to sell. These are flower pots. We need two of those. Um, it used to be that with the vegetables you get in this area, they did not grow unless you planted, planted them in that and they removed that option because there was like some problems with it or something. I don't remember. But now you can plant any crop anywhere. But I think that is enough for this episode. We will go back and do more quests on Frozen Peaks in our next episode. So we will see you then. Bye.